Okay, so all my ideas start off with a drawing, no matter how ugly it is. I just need to know where I'm going. Plan your work, work your plan. You can see my cabinets, my refrigerator, and my countertop. Okay, yes, this is my get up, my everyday get up. I'm about to make me a small little kitchen. And let me show you what I'm about to do. Okay, so this is just a, this a wall cabinet, but I don't want to use it as a wall cabinet. Uh, the actual floor base cabinets were too wide and I don't want to take up that much space. So I'm going to use this and I'm going to extend it. It is 30 inches. I need it to be like, 42 inches like bar stool height so i'm gonna extend it okay so if you don't have a saw you actually can like draw out your measurements and everything and lowe's or home depot they will cut everything for you and i did everything down to the penny okay so these are my pieces for my shelves i had these cut out exactly the way that i drew on my diagram and now i'm going to put my shelves together these pieces will go like so and I want to be able to get my microwave and all my different little things on here so I'll pretty much just line them up it'll be like three open spaces okay so now I'm just going to take my screws and I'm going to screw them in the wood so I thought I was going to do but a friend of mine came by who was always helping me on my project and let me know that I really could just use a nail gun. I wasn't really trusting the nail gun, but I am just going to trust him because he's always helping me on projects. So I'm going to go in with the nail gun to secure it and keep it together. Okay, so this was the wall cabinet. I'm turning it into a floor base cabinet. What I had done was these three pieces that were nailing at the top, I had those three pieces cut out so it would fit on top so I can extend it. They pretty much just came in and took over my project, but that's okay because they just want to make sure that everything is not going to flop. I had these two pieces cut. This was my idea. I just drew it out. I had these two pieces cut. One will serve as the countertop, the bar countertop, and then the side. And then we took a two by four just to give it a little more stability at the bottom. So we're going to um, go ahead and we're going to use the nail gun to nail everything in. Okay, so this is what it looks like. I've just basically placed everything. I did not finish it, and I just wanted to make sure everything was, you know, pretty much going to fit. Okay, so I'm just going to take some spray paint, some red spray paint, just to coat it, you know, prime it or whatever. And then I'm going to actually use the same paint that I'm going to use on the walls on my cabinet and my bar top. Okay, so I know we used the nail gun, but I just wanted to make sure everything was reinforced. I'm going to go in with some screws on each corner and just to make sure that everything is going to hold well and, you know, because it's going to be hanging from the wall. So I want to make sure that it's stable and it's not going to fall apart. Okay, now for the paint job. So this was a little different because I chose semi-gloss because the area that I'm doing, even though this will be a content area, I will be utilizing the area as a small kitchenette. But I decided to go with semi-gloss and it was so hard to stick to the wall. So that's why I'm doing that funky little paint. While that's drying, I'm going to go in and I'm going to paint my little bar countertop slash cabinet that way it could be dry and then i can go back and work on the walls 
Okay, so working with this dark semi-gloss paint, I had to do so many layers. It was so exhausting. So I had to do about three to four layers of paint just so that I can, you know, prevent having all of the lines. I was trying my best not to roll too hard, but now I did get finished. I'm going to remove all of the painter's tape and go ahead and set up my room. All right, so I have my actual shelving and uh, my friends actually put up the L bracket so that, you know, everything will hold good and make sure that it was in, you know, properly. I'm just going in, I'm going to use the screws to make sure that everything is going to hold very, very securely. Okay, so let's check my measurements. I measured this out so my microwave would fit in here, especially my refrigerator, my vintage refrigerator, it fits perfectly. So, so far I did good. Now my little bar countertop, it fits perfectly. It's a small space, so pretty much showing you how to take a small space and make it look amazing. Okay, so I went to an antique store to find some little goodies to go on my shelves. I wanted to find like some old antique food, you know, pieces that would look really, really nice on the shelves. And I think I found a lot of things that I loved. Okay, so I am in this store and they have like a lot of neat stuff stuff that I could put on my shelves. Okay, so that flooring right there is like so exact for the mood, okay? Checker, black and white. So I'll get just a little bit to go in that space. Okay, so I found all these cute little things, the Coca-Cola, cookbook, some little decorative food items, coffee, it's so cute, and I got a nice little clock, which is kind of 50-ish, um, I think I'm going to put some records on the wall, I want to see how it look, I hope it turned out good, I hope I'm not doing too much to the room, but I want to be able to, you know, get my content in, I found this small table which I'm gonna put my telephone that I found I think it's gonna be cute this telephone is so cute okay so I did really really good I found some good finds and I think it's gonna make the space look amazing can't wait <laughs> 